So, uh, welcome to this video from Tech East. I'm here in Cambridge with James Parton, uh, Managing Director of the Bradfield Centre. Um, James, um, the Bradfield Centre is a relatively new addition to the Cambridge tech landscape. Um, what's been happening over your first year here at, uh, at Cambridge? Yeah, it's, uh, well, first of all, thanks for coming. Really good to see you guys here. Um, it's been a busy first year, uh, so when you open a new building, Challenge number one is kind of bedding everything in and making sure everything's running smoothly. Um, challenge number two is filling the place up with interesting startups and scale ups. Um, so we've really done a lot of that over the first 12 months. So we've really started to get a nice critical mass in the building. There's a nice buzz in the place. And now, you know, it's really about building the community and building the kind of educational platform that we want here in the building. So a great example of that is the kind of events that we run in the auditorium. So since we opened, we've done over 180 events, something like 7,000 people have come through the doors to attend those events. So it feels like we're off to a really good start. That's great. And have any of the startups who've kind of um, come to the Bradfield Centre for that support and helping scale up, have you had any big success stories in the first year? Yeah, I mean, I think we've had a number of teams that have been with us for the majority of that 12 months and we've seen teams treble in size in terms of the number of desks they have here so string are a great example of that they're a company that looks at things like um, augmented reality yeah. and virtual reality technologies so they've yeah they've tripled in size i think in that first kind of 10 months of being here um, Spectral Edge, who are actually a spin out from UEA, uh, UEA in yeah. Norwich. They've uh, raised a, a $5 million Series A since they've been yeah. here. And we've got a bunch of other companies that have kind of doubled, trebled um, since they've been here. So, yeah, just phenomenal growth, really, really high potential businesses. Yeah, well, I mean, congratulations with all that. As far as um, bigger corporates are concerned, I know that uh, there was recently an article in the New York Times um, really identifying Cambridge as a, as a global centre for AI, oh. uh, and it's clear that a lot of multinationals have started to acquire Cambridge startups and have oh. started to invest here. Oh. But as far as the Bradfield Centre is concerned, how do you see your role in terms of engaging with corporates oh. uh, in terms of innovation? I mean, you're absolutely right. There's there's no accident that the likes of you know, Amazon, Apple, they all have Microsoft, you know, they all have R&D facilities here in Cambridge to access the kind of talent coming from the university and the, and the local ecosystem. I think there's a number of things. I mean, first and foremost, we're seeing some of that ourselves in terms of um, corporates being directly involved in the Bradfield Centre. So great example is JD.com, the yep. uh, Chinese e-commerce yep. um, giant. They've uh, recently announced that they're going to base their brand new European artificial intelligence R&D team here in the Bradfields. So that's really exciting both for us, but also the wider region in terms of having that investment from, uh, from China. Um, and then on top of that, we're working increasingly with a number of kind of corporate partners that really want to kind of accelerate their innovation program, get closer to fast moving businesses and entrepreneurs, tap into what's going on in the kind of Cambridge ecosystem our kind of links with the university and all of those things so we're kind of constantly looking to have conversations with those like-minded kind of corporates we have a bunch of ideas around educational programs for entrepreneurs into year two and beyond and they're great kind of vehicles for corporates to engage with what we're doing here Great. So um, you talked a little bit about investment and recent successes there. I mean, Cambridge, I think, is known now as a real European um, investment capital. Uh, as far as the wider Tech East membership is concerned, I mean, what kinds of um, opportunities could there be here at the Bradfield Centre to gain access to investors if people are looking to raise? I mean, I see we're sitting here in front of the uh, partner lounge and I see that some of the uh, you know the key, the, the 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 key angel networks and so on have a presence here. Yeah. Um, how, how would how you know what would your message be to a Tech East member looking to make that journey? Well, I think first and foremost, come and visit, spend some time here. If that's simply just working from our facilities, enjoying the cafe, or you know having a meeting with a prospective investor, you know this is the place to be. We really want the Bradfield to be a melting pot, a kind of hub for where interesting conversations and interesting kind of meetings happen. Um, through our work together, any Tech East member to, can come to the Bradfield and can work from our partner lounge. So please take advantage of that. Um, 
we're certainly an open door from that perspective. And then to your point around the work we do with investors, um, Cambridge Angels base themselves here. We have the East of England UK Business Angels Association up here. Yeah. So there's lots of access to the right kinds of people. We, there's office hours, you know, there's multiple um, investor events that are running the whole time. Yeah. So plenty of ways to get in touch, plenty of ways to engage. Always check out the website for events, and that's just simply bradfieldcenter.com. Okay, so fr from what I'm hearing, you, I think the Bradfield Centre is more than just a kind of a co-work space within Cambridge. It probably has a, a wider role to play within the east of England tech ecosystem. Is that fair? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I kind of see, I, I see this on three levels. I think first and foremost, it's about providing the best possible workspace for scale-ups in the region. Um, you know, you'll, you'll get a sense of that. You spent some time here, you, you know the facilities that are on offer. I think number two, it's about building an education platform for entrepreneurs that are kind of scaling their businesses. So we address that through the content and programming, the auditorium, office hours, um, and also some of those um, additional programs I alluded to for opportunities for corporates to engage with us. And then thirdly, it's about this place being a collision point. You know, it's about, yeah. we're lucky that we're in, in the center of the, the world's, uh, the Europe's first science park. Yeah. So we've got, we're surrounded by great businesses. Um, we're surrounded by the investor community. We're surrounded by scale ups that are based here and, and in the wider Cambridge ecosystem. So we're trying to make this place open, friendly, welcoming, a place to do business, a place to network. Thank you, James. I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, we will um, be publishing more of these videos in future on this sort of special topics. Thanks very much to James Barton and the Bradfield Centre for hosting us this morning. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, uh, hit like or leave us a comment in the comments box. We'll see you soon.